what we got. All right. <clears throat> okay. So this is the first ever I've yet to see a knife slash sword maker make one of these bad boys. This right here is the Hui. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Saber from Dahomey in West Africa. You may have seen this blade in Lovecraft Country, what we affectionately refer to as the Hippolyta sword. And it is dope. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, where should I start? Right there. Yeah. 1095 steel. Uh, sharpened, of course, all the way through. And it's Yelman, though. We haven't put an edge on that yet, but I mean, this is all business. Business. All business. All business. Both sides. That false edge coming up in you. Cuts like the Dickens. Apparently, people liked when I said that. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is what we're doing. We're pushing the envelope here. Street Forge Armory. Um, in a moment, we'll do a quick cut video showing how it goes through some plastic and later on we'll cut something a little more substantial but this is the hui saber from west africa from uh the uh kingdom of dahomey now known as benin famous for the amazon warriors in benin dora malaji yep influence of the door influence motive was it how should i say they inf not influenced but they inspired the dora malaj all right. Street Forge Armory. We out.